Welcome, welcome, one and all, to another exciting episode of Let's Play to the Native Games Pit for the Lost Expedition. In the last episode, we started off the Native Games and did Tuko Shot, Wakatuko, then Rat Bowling. This time, we're going to finish it off with some pickaxe racing and kaboom! Pickaxe race! Which, this and kaboom, I find probably the most fun out of the games. Um, even though this one is pretty enraging. Anyways, pickaxe race! All I've got to do is beat their best athlete to the top of the night tower before... Uh, they carted, sorry, the, to the top of an ice tower, they carted down from the mountains. Should be easy, except for those Tuchel Tuchels who could trip me up and make me lose time. So now I'm starting to see why Harry hates Tuchos. I guess that doesn't make sense, considering, watch out for the Tuchos versus the top wins. Are you ready? All things considered, like, you know, we did whack a Tuco and the the the, 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 the the slingshot one first, so it doesn't really make much sense for Harry to hate these guys. So yeah, the native seems to go at a pretty consistent pace. I don't know why this happens. I'm pressing up, but nothing's happening, dude. That's, the pickaxe controllers do controls do seem kind of broken sometimes. Dang it! Thankfully, you do get checkpoints with these wooden or bamboo platforms, I guess. But uh, this is easy, so. Oh, are you kidding me? See, it, oh, fuck! It's like we're not even touching him. Okay, that time we were touching him, it didn't even count. So I believe each round is uh, three layers up. So on the second. Don't you fucking touch his goddamn foot! Are you serious? Remember when I said this was fun? I take it back. It's the worst. I hate it. It's the worst. Zero out of ten. Zero. It's like I'm hitting, I'm going straight up, but for some reason, I strafe to the right. Oh my! I didn't even touch him. Wow. This is stupid. So many sads. At least you made a noble effort. Wow. Wow. I'm not happy. I'm a very unhappy Chris. All right, here we go again. These guys are spaced out to the point where it should not. Wow, I went really quick. There. Oh no, it's two two go two goes. All right, let's just go quick. Let's go quick. Go quick. Go quick. Go quicker. Woo! Okay, third layer up. Okay, shouldn't be too. <laughs> this shouldn't be too hard. Uh, shut up, Chris. I'm gonna regret saying that. All right, there we go. We got a statue in the back. Also, right. cool. Woo! The there we go. That's much better. Advance to the next level. Uh, be careful. Those two go two goes are getting thicker. First one of the top wins. Are you ready? Mm, okay, let's go up the ice. I actually really do like the ice texture in this game with uh, telling you which ones you can climb. It looks really cool. I mean, they look more like crystal walls. Crystalline walls, because ice walls don't. Well, I guess they kind of look like that. I mean, they are pretty... Oh boy, let's go up one more. Crystal... Or, ice walls are pretty, like, rough. But they're not... Like, these look almost, like, pointy. And I guess ice walls can be like that, too. So I don't know what the heck I'm talking about. <sighs> Careful, Mr. Hairs. So instead, he apparently wants a race because that guy's pretty slow. Okay, I thought there was another tuba tuba there. Look, they almost make an arrow. It's not adorable. Okay. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, it's. Uh, ooh. How do I even. Just wait for those guys to. Oh man, you're not gonna go away, are you? They go up. <laughs> I'm not on that. Oh, damn it! That is unfortunate. Now, do you stay in your hole now that I hit you? Damn it! No! Go! There's no way, man! Those guys aren't timed properly! There we go. Ah! So frustrating! Alright, here we go again. So I'm gonna be patient and wait for both two coats to just. Oh, man. Damn it! It's, those guys are so badly timed! There's like no way to get past that! Unless you do this. <laughs> oh, what? This game! Why is it? Okay, now they're perfectly timed. However, I don't think it's gonna matter at this point. God damn it. Some fail many wow. <gasps> go, 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 Yes! Oh! That is not an easy thing. In fact, it's the worst thing. 
I take it back. These aren't. This isn't fun. <laughs> there are tickles everywhere. First top to the first to the top wins. Are you ready? I guess so. Not really. Um, it'd be fantastic if these guys were properly timed. <laughs> uh, whatever. Okay, that first one didn't seem too bad. I'm sure, it's gonna get, become the worst thing ever in a second here. Also, the controls for the pickaxes don't really seem very responsible all the times. Like sometimes you'll go up a lot, and other times you won't go up a lot. It's uh. Damn it! I took a risk there, and I'm paying for it now. Don't you dare come out, you asshole. Okay, he came out, but but you know I'm I'm proud of him, quite frankly. Uh, I think we we all knew. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um. Oh man, it's not gonna work out. It's not gonna work out. Ah! It worked out. All right. It's uh. Oh no, this is like the same pattern as the last time. All right, go, 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 go. Yes, 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 yes. Holy crap. Wow, that was... Future generations and such. Congratulations, you've been the hardest level of award with a single idol. No, silly. Anyways, kaboom, the last native game. Kaboom! Looks like the natives get a kick out of throwing captured renegades into an arena by blowing them up with TNT. I'm game for that. Gotta nail them before time runs out. My favorite of the native games. I'm pretty sure this is the only game I'd come back and replay. You must frag all three ren renegade natives before time expires. Are you ready? Did I say all three? Oh, it's three. Oh, you can't run either. Oh, very unfortunate. Oh, they stupidly throw the coconuts at me. Very smart. Very smart, you guys. Aha! Well, that did not help your cause at all, now did it? Okay, both of them are over here. Oh, I got him. Cool. Oops. Where's the other asshole? There he is. Guess what, asshole? Is he dead? He's not dead. Where is he? There he is. Get your coconut thrown ass over here! Yeah! I guess there's stink bombs, but still. <laughs> it's so stupid seeing like these guys in war paint. Just like being stupid. I must uh, frag all six renegade natives for your time expires. Are you ready? Alright, so six is- oh no! Oh no! Jeez, there's so many! They're like little children! Little children! Oh, I got two. The price of one, Grandma. Wow, I blew up a lot of things. I didn't get him! The balls, man! What?! Why are the controls so poopy? Controls! There we go. <laughs> Aha! See you, asshole! Oh, asshole! Oh, there's the other one, too. There we go! I guess sometimes it's easy Once just to just stand still. Why oh, is there only one there? Like, oh, I'm the only one who survived out of all my friends. Oh, shucks. <laughs> Woo! Alright, now it's gonna be 10 on oh, 9. I don't know, I feel like it was gonna be 10. I feel like 9 would be too random of a number, you know? It's like, no, not at all. Did I get him? No, what the heck? I was like hitting the rubble that was already falling, which is weird because normally I'm taking more times Whoa, there's like 24 here! <laughs> I don't know why 24 was the first number I came in my- Ah, oh, I see the freaking rubble's getting in my way. Like, after I've already blown it up, which is weird. Come on, get them both! No! Can I only get one at a time or some junk like that? Oh boy. That's weird, I feel like that's the first time I ever played like that. You beat in every game, the chief the chief's last treasure is yours. Yep, that's it. Native games have been beaten. I'm glad I didn't try to cram all that into one episode, because that was actually pretty difficult. So yeah, that's like some of the last few idols in the game. Now all they have to do Oh the chief's gone. Where's the chief? What the heck? Is he going to his house or something? Monkey, shut up! Stoop, stupid monkey! Let's uh, go in here, great. Um, uh, I guess at this point we're gonna have to um, go back to the Mama Ula Tower 
And then um, we'll have to go to the firebomb towers, which is unfortunate. I was considering maybe getting those, or recording myself going to the firebomb towers, getting everything there, and then like just coming back and recording. Like, or sorry, showing showing myself getting the final shaman first in like the crystalline caves. Back in the or up in the mountains, and then showing myself going to Fireball Mountains, and then editing it together, like I had already gotten those. Just for like, because I almost feel like the Fireball Towers. Those are just last episode stuff. But I'm just gonna go ahead and not make it really complicated by just going to the Fireball Towers on screen now instead of showing it later or something. To the flooded courtyard. I believe we're getting close to the Mama Ula Tower. I know it's this way, because I know what, like, I know the only other way from the Turtle Monument is towards the Butterfly Glade, and that's definitely beyond the Mama Ula Tower, so... I'm not even counting that yet, right? I'm not even ever too sure about my life or anything anymore. Let's go over here. Oh, I guess I'm not going to fail that jump ever in this Let's Play. That's definitely a really easy jump to fail. To the Jungle Trail! To the Jungle Run! Okay, oh, I do have my torch out here. Get your torch on! Wow, that should not have worked. <laughs> uh, come on. Thankfully, this won't take too long. Okay, it is this way. For some reason, I thought I'd have to climb up the ladder the other way, but apparently not. It's always mystified me how Harry climbs the ladder holding that torch like that. Don't know why, but it totally does. Alright, thankfully, this won't take too long here. <laughs> Hello! Running through the, 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 the monkeys, all waking up and freaking out. Is that really it for this place? Wow. Man, I wish this game was longer. I mean, it does feel like a good length, to be fair, but it's it's never a long game. It only takes, like, less than 30 parts to beat. It's no Legend of Zelda. On the Ula Tower, okay. We want to get across, get our butts across the tower here. Whoa! 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 Holy crap, I just ran over a gap, I think. Ah! Dang it. How very unfortunate for me. Alright, to the firebomb tower as we go. Whee! Technically towards last... To the like end of the game. Well, there's one more thing after this, but... You know, it's not very special. Is that coconut just... What the heck? Why are coconuts falling? Oh, okay. <laughs> If you say so, game. Um, so there's an idol and explorer here. Well, you guys know that. Why is the camera being all weird? Oh boy. There's this like cool fire altar here. I really do like this place. Ah, oh, I did not think I was gonna hit that. Wow, uh, this is another area where apparently my brightness on the TV screen is, needs to be adjusted. I'm going to go to a purely. What? Oh, okay, fine, I'll do it. Brightness on TV has been adjusted. I can actually see what's going on, even though it looks really gross now. I can't admire the beautiful uh, backgrounds of this game, but whatever. So you're gonna want to rogue dive here. <laughs> um, I don't really remember where any of these are. Ooh, that's cool. I can see inside there. No, ever since I've like been watching, or now that I've been watching Game Grumps for a long time, whenever I go into like my actual like Let's Player talk mode, I, it, it makes me feel stupid. <laughs> <laughs> is that weird? Um, because they always make fun of that, right? And ever since then, I'm like, huh, it does sound kind of stupid to talk like, Oh, and then you go over here. Now you go over here. And next, you're going to want to go over here. <laughs> oh, wow. So I want to listen carefully here, because these guys say a line. You stand next to them, I think. Are you going to just... Wow, these guys don't give up, apparently. Um, oh, I'm surprised I made that. We haven't seen the explorer or the idol yet. I killed his friend. Alright, well, I'm probably not going to hear it. <laughs> so. Is there a guy up here? There won't be the guy up here to be honest. Oh, there's multiple guys up here. Well, that's unfortunate. Is there any of them that give up? 
Okay, the back guy doesn't give up. <laughs> um, woo, girl. Okay, so one of these guys, or I guess maybe they all say it, and I was just getting very unlucky. Or maybe they didn't even say it, I just kind of hear it. Like I said, my TV's turning really far down, so... Yeah, if you're one of all these tents, I believe one of them has an idol in it. Okay, it's probably the one down here then. One of them says, uh, Come on, you Fruit Loop! And, um, when I was playing this game with my friend Cody, gotcha. uh, we heard that and we laughed our butts off, our asses off. And, um, so we punched him. I think, well, actually, I was getting my friend Cody to play this game. And, uh,. What had happened was uh, we're going across top layer now, by the way. So this is this is actually different, going backwards. Um, what had happened is since he punched him, he was like, "Ew, I got Fruit Loop germs!" And then he touched, he was like, "Fruit Loop germs!" And like, yeah, wow, this is sounding really childish, childish. But this was in like the fourth slash fifth grade, so understandably, TNT need to blow this up. Understandably, we were very, we were pretty young, and uh, so it, it turned into. Um, us doing like I'm touching each other. Okay, that sounds really bad as well. Okay, <laughs> uh, we ended up like you know, just giving each other fruit and germs. Wow, that sounds so, that sounds so like, dirty, but I swear it was it's innocence. Okay, and uh, so that introduced a fruit loop barrier. There we go, fruit loop barrier, and then we would like cross our arms into like an X shape and then we would also cross our fingers and that would be our fruit loop barrier and then like we kind of brought that to our school and it kind of like brought school wide fame and that was so cool to me like being a kid and like having like your thing become like a school wide well it wasn't like school wide since my school was um, kindergarten to grade 12 and I used to live in my old farm town but uh is that the right way? I think it was the right way right? Right way, right? But, uh, like, all the, like, the grade fours to, like, grade eights, we're all doing it, and it was just, it was such a cool feeling, you know? And, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna push this episode up to the point where we get to the last shaman, because in the last episode, it's just gonna be finale stuff. Woo! So, I, I don't know, it's just, that was, like, one of my proudest, like, middle school moments. Or elementary slash middle school since it like continued into middle school. Of course it died down eventually, but it was still such a cool thing. Wow. I totally almost fell down there by mistake. Um, it was still such a cool thing. Uh, having like your thing, or I guess it was not just my thing, but you know, me and my friend Cody's thing just become like a school wide thing where everyone talked about it. And it was a big thing for like probably two or three years. There was like a little inside joke that no one besides me and Cody understood, but that's what made it amazing. So yeah, good times, and that's that's like my biggest memory, definitely by far in this game is that I miss like playing games with my friends. Cause that was like one of the um, I remember always going to my friend Cody's house because he was not only had like a um, Nintendo stuff like I do, but he had a lot of uh, PlayStation. I don't think I don't think, did he have an Xbox. I don't know if he had an Xbox or not. I think we mostly stuck with the PlayStation stuff though when I was at, at his place, and we were always playing games together. And then like I was really excited to like you know show off this game and get him to play it because one, it's short enough to like you know just be able to invite people over to play it. And so it was really fun having <clears throat> like not only introducing this game but just in general like what the heck <laughs> in general just like you know showing people this game and stuff. And playing game. What the balls? Twice in a row, man. Stop burning yourself! Just burn yourself for your wreckage, dang it! Oh man, you asked me to do all these. No, stop. 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 I... Do I have to kill you all? I wish to kill you all at this point. You're all dead to me. You're dead. You're not dead, unfortunately. Oh my good lord. Ah, whatever. Just, just go. Just go. This episode's long enough as it is. Don't hit me, please. <laughs> I don't know what happens if they hit you on when you're on ladders. I don't really want to find out, quite frankly. So, I'm not going to. And in case you're wondering where I'm going right now, I'm going to the mountain teleport. I'm heading into the mountain. Into the mountain. It's really hard. I don't know how the heck I, was, I managed to stick to my 11 minute time limit in um, my Let's Plays before. I think it was. Was it only Pitfall? I don't know at what point I got my 11 minute time thing taken off. I don't think it was during Super Mario. Um, Sunshine. Maybe it was part way through that or something. Where's this? To Mountain Teleport. I don't want to go there. 
So it really makes more sense to go jungle, mountain. Oh wait, was the, wait was that the cave? Oh right, great, I was in the right spot. Dang it! Go for another freaking cycle. I'm sorry, you guys. To the jungle teleport. Interesting how I'm holding my TNT as I go through all this stupid stuff. And yeah, I I just double checked um, in between after I beat all the native games. I, uh, no, I actually might have been in between episodes. I made absolute sure that these are the last idols I need, and they totally are, thankfully. So I'm not gonna have to, you know. Go like, oh no, I don't have enough idols to buy this last thing. And a little while ago, I was talking about how. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Come on, make it! Dang it. Yeah, a few episodes when I was captured by St. Clair's camp. Um, it said I didn't get an explorer there, even though I very clearly did. And yeah, I totally do have that idol. Uh, I do di distinctively remember now that being an issue. Last few million times I've played this game. I think I can make that jump, can't I? Yeah, I can. So, I mean, it's kind of annoying that that's an issue, but... What can you do? Oh, can you seriously not? Jeez, man. Let's get up there. I'm going the wrong way. There you go. Dang it. I went really far out of my way here to go the wrong way. Oh, really? I go all the way back here? That sucks. Oh, yeah. Hmm. So, yeah, I have all the idols and all that junk. Wow. I, I really messed that up, apparently. I'm right back to the, where I began, pretty much. Okay, well, at least the elevator's here. These aren't elevators, I know, but I don't know what else to call them. Like little shafts. <sighs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm 12. Alright, this is the one I want. Jeez, wow, that guy managed to hit me. What a dick bag. We really? As long as he doesn't hit me off, I don't really care, but you know, you're dead to me, son. Right, you're gonna die. <laughs> I like how he like forgot I was there. He's like, Whoa! He like jumped when I jumped on here to the abandoned cavern. <clears throat> All right, that's always the annoying part to go through. This, oh, okay, I lied. This is also an annoying spot to go through, but I still don't think it'll be too bad. Now that I can actually see what I'm doing here. And since I've been through this area before, it shouldn't be too bad. Right, uh, whoa! <laughs> I think that's the first time I actually got hit by these in this Let's Play as well. All right. Um, dang it. It's always a little shortcut to do a rising strike onto these ladders, but oh well. Just avoid all the bad guys. No! I wow, I actually almost saved that. That would have been cool. That is not the way I wanted. What the heck? It's like upside down. Jeez, man. Pink Vine is actually one of the hardest enemies to fight in this game, in my opinion. Like the normal enemies, I mean. Okay, right. can I make that? That'd be really nice. Aha! I did it. I did it all by myself. Okay, we need to make this jump, please. Alright, fall. Fall, rock, fall. Uh-oh, uh-oh, please, please! Damn it! Ah! Well, that's obnoxious. Isn't it just the worst when you're trying to... Trying to be quick with something in a game, and then everything goes wrong? Uh, yeah, there we go, that's what I wanted. Oh, you know what? Actually, I guess there's two ways to do this here. I guess you could... I think maybe what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to actually run underneath this rock or something. And then grab onto this rope that way, but, I mean, that's kind of silly. Oops, gotta slide down. ARE YOU SERIOUS?! WOW! Oh my good lord! Good- NO! STOP! STOP! I hate you! STOP! In the name of all, if I die... If I freaking die... Drink your dang water! No! Stop! Oh my good god! Ah! Quite frankly, I probably should have just met you guys at the Crystal Cavern, but that just seems lame. What the heck is going on? I made that jump so easy last time. Uh, see now? See what's happening now? I'm panicking. Can I actually get onto this rock just from here? I might be able to. You know what? Let's let's try the usual way, shall we? Oh my good lord. Alright, take your freaking torch. I can't believe that porcupine hit me. At least that doesn't instantly kill me. I feel like that's a thing that would should instantly kill me, but it doesn't. Kinda like the plant just knocks these days. 
Alright. Uh, so I guess you're supposed to dash, jump there, <laughs> whatever that's called. Heroic dive. Alright, this is where. Crystal Cavern. So I think I. I, mean, I had no idea where the freaking shaman was last time, but I think he's up. I think I gotta go up somehow. I'm gonna kill all these assholes now. I feel like there's issues, so I'm not going to. Thankfully, I already have my brain is turned up. Well, I mean, I didn't when I first started this episode, but I do now. Oh, uh, he's probably... Up. Well, there's no point going up yet, because there's an idol somewhere... Oh, here it is, right here! Wow. So, I believe this is the last idol in the game. Dang it. <laughs> I believe this is the last idol in the game, right? You guys will be able to see, but I have no way of knowing. Not sure. I mean, I'm pretty sure... Aw, oh, dang it. I totally made that jump. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's the last one, but, um... Something went wrong here. You guys will be the first to know. Uh, ah! No, 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 dude, come on. Get jiggy with it. Alright, now there should be a way up. Um, oh man, I think I need to go more this way. How do I get back up there? Come on. I need to end off this episode. We're almost at a half hour. Oh, this is a bad time to get lost in the freaking cave of mystery. Hold on, get over there. No! Stop going on the freaking Why would they place a rope there? Right beside a ladder. This game has ladder problems. <laughs> is it not this way? Oh, it's oh yeah, it's this way. I was just being stupid, apparently. Surprising nobody. It's cool seeing all these, like, um, fallen platforms as well. It's a dangerous place, you guys. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. Looked up a guide. The stupid shaman's over here. The one spot I thought for sure he wouldn't be. <sighs> come over here. Pull this stupid stuff up. And come to think of it, this. Whoa, what the heck? There's a giant scorpion. What, what's going on? What? What I just died for? Are you fucking kidding me? What? All right, here we go again. I don't even know what the hell killed me the first time. I just, I think I glitched through the wall and it counted as a death. Look, there's a giant freaking scorpion here, man. Why are you so? Did you eat a Mario mushroom? You suck. I hate you. You're the worst. Zero out of ten. Screw you, mate. <sighs> yeah, come think of it, this might have been the last time in, in the game I got in my last Let's Play as well. It, 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 it's all too familiar for me. There we go. That's it. The last shaman. Oh yeah! As a shaman disappears for the last time, he gives you a final gift of purchase for being such a good customer. Hurry to the Punch Out Shrine in the Heart of Jungle, try it out! That gift is Pitfall 2, actually. The Lost Caverns. Um, so, you know, it's nothing too special, but it's still pretty cool. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe already. It's the best way to support my channel if you wish to see me grow and produce more videos like this one. Um, in the next episode, I will just meet you guys uh, probably at the entrance of the Firebomb Tower. So, at, my, at the Mama Ula Tower. And then we'll head on to the final part of the game. So, next episode should be the finale. I know, it's pretty crazy, right? <laughs> I have to figure out how the balls get out of here now. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.